In 2002, during the first SARS outbreak, Melissa Miller was a postdoc when she developed a diagnostic test in case SARS reached North Carolina and the medical center needed a test. She did the same for MERS and H1N1. Thankfully, the outbreaks were limited. In early 2020, as a new virus spread in China, Dr. Miller directed her UNC lab to develop an RNA test for COVID-19. Within two weeks, they were one of the first academic labs in the country to have a highly specific test for SARS-CoV-2. By March 16th, the UNC Medical Center was using it to test samples collected at the UNC Chapel Hill Respiratory Diagnostic Center, which was set up by Amir Barzan and David Wohl to collect samples that have now been used in countless UNC research studies. Meanwhile, UNC researchers quickly began collaborating on numerous basic science projects and clinical studies. The results have been incredible. The Ralph Barrick Lab at UNC Gillings and the School of Medicine led key research on remdesivir, the first FDA-approved antiviral treatment for COVID-19, showing it can reduce hospital stays and mortality rates. Victor Garcia, Angela Wall, Mark Heisey, and Ron Swanstrom have been instrumental in developing animal models and testing therapies, including an experimental compound called EIDD-2801. Dirk Dittmer's lab with Blossom Demania and Melissa Miller uses next-generation sequencing assays to study viral genetics and strains of SARS-CoV-2 circulating in the population. Doctors Dittmer, Demania, and David Peden are leading COVID-19 seroprevalent studies across the UNC health system with Amir Barzin, John Schmitz, and colleagues from Gillings. Craig Cameron and Jamie Arnold partnered with Riboscience to screen nucleotide analogs to find compounds that stop SARS-CoV-2 from replicating. Several Marsico Lung Institute researchers led by Rick Boucher teamed with the Barrick Lab to map SARS-CoV-2 infected airways. And Marsico researcher Camille Eyre published stunning images of SARS-CoV-2 to help illustrate how important wearing a mask can be. Aravinda De Silva and Prem Lakshamanan created an antibody test the Barrick Lab uses to characterize vaccine responses. Convalescent plasma researchers Luther Bartelt, David Margolis, and others use this test in clinical studies now underway. Joe Eron, Jessica Lynn, David Wall, Billy Fisher, and colleagues are leading treatment as prevention clinical trials to see if therapies like monoclonal antibodies can help patients avoid hospitalization. Mike Cohen has been instrumental in leading NIH-funded studies as part of the COVID-19 Prevention Network and Operation Warp Speed to coordinate the development, manufacturing, and distribution of COVID diagnostics, therapeutics, and vaccines. And led by Cindy Gay, UNC is part of two large Phase three trials to find safe and effective COVID vaccines as quickly as possible. None of this work could be done without the hundreds of clinical fellows, postdoctoral researchers, and graduate students at the UNC School of Medicine. Such collaborative, difficult work has inspired all of us, and we thank you for your dedication to research during this unprecedented pandemic.